Have you ever been called arrogant when you know that you're not? Hi, my name's Janine. I'm an educator, coach, professional athlete, and advocate for gender equity in sports. Well, I've never seen myself that way as arrogant. I've received comments criticizing me for being entitled, a social media diva, or a bad sports person. And some of these comments have come from leaders within my sport, not just internet randos. And that made me wonder if maybe there was uh, something that I was missing. That doubt has lingered in the back of my mind for years. Did you know that the word arrogant actually means having an exaggerated sense of one's own importance or abilities? Now, while I may be confident and unafraid to share about the things that I've accomplished, I'm not delusional. <laughs> I believe the following words from influential Nigerian author and speaker Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie when she addressed the Chatham House London Conference in 2018 are relevant here. Now, if you know me in person or followed me for a while, you know full well that I'm very accomplished, both as an athlete and a coach. As an athlete, I've won multiple state, national, and world championship titles. I've held multiple American and school records, including at a Power 5 college, and I have one world record. Additionally, I've coached multiple individual All-Americans, both on the youth and the college levels. A couple teams that I've coached have won conference championship titles, and one was named the National Team of the Year in their division. I've been sought out both as a speaker at national coaching conventions and to provide coaching education in multiple throwing disciplines. I've mentored coaches, including as part of a national mentoring program for women in track coaching that I co-founded more than five years ago. I've been an integral part of multiple national efforts to address intentional discrimination against women in college sports. This includes supporting athletes at several colleges who ultimately took legal action that protected their teams from being cut. Multiple college professors and coaches have invited me to speak to their students and athletes as an expert on Title IX as it applies to college sports. In short, I'm not just some social media diva. Frankly, the suggestion that my opinion, advice, or expertise, or anyone else's, should be dismissed because they've reached a certain follower count or had viral videos is nothing more than an ad hominem fallacy or an attempt to discredit or undermine someone based on who they are or their circumstances, rather than the merits of what they say. So yes, I am unapologetically confident and outspoken. I've worked hard to achieve my goals and I'm not afraid to celebrate my successes. I'm proud of my accomplishments and frankly, I deserve to be. We all do. Anyone who has shared the field with me knows that I encourage my fellow competitors. I'm generous with my support and want my competitors to do their best, even when it's meant, for example, helping put them in a position where they're more likely to surpass my own world record. I love to hype up the other women in my sport because I know that celebrating and championing other strong, talented women doesn't take anything away from me. Similarly, celebrating my own strengths and efforts doesn't take anything away from anyone else. In fact, when we acknowledge each other's strengths as well as our own, it fosters a positive and uplifting environment that benefits each of us individually, the women's class as a whole, and our entire sport. Back to my nagging doubts about being perceived as arrogant. You wanna know what helped me in the end? It was the meta AI chatbot. So I posed the following question to it at the end of December. Is it likely that someone who is encouraging would also be arrogant? To close out this video, I'll leave you with the response that permanently evicted those last remnants of self-doubt from my mind. No, it is not likely that someone who is encouraging would also be arrogant. Encouraging individuals focus on supporting and uplifting others, whereas arrogance involves an inflated sense of self-importance and a tendency to belittle others. These traits are generally mutually exclusive, as encouraging behavior involves humility and a focus on other strengths, whereas arrogance prioritizes one's own superiority.